hello what's up guys welcome back to the part 2 of the jquery mobile buttons so in the previous tutorial you saw how we came about this button 1 and button 2 and these are the different classes we are applying to get such formats or nice looking buttons so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can place icons on those buttons how you can change their theme colors to different yeah, colors you want to use them for so in this tutorial that's what you're going to be covering now let's first refresh here and yeah we're having our smallest headings here button with icons button with themes now let's start with button with icons so as always we start with our h reef we close it ank tag that's the ank tag not h reef h reef is an attribute here so here it's going to be going nowhere and i'm just going to put here let's say shop let's say you are dealing with the e-commerce site and let's refresh oh is the internet very slow because I'm using online CDNs, so they tend to be slow. Now, yeah, by default, you can see it's a link. Now, to make it a button, we said you add a class of UI dash BTN. Refresh, save that and refresh. You see now it's a button. And I told you by default, its display is in block. So you can change it to be like this size by adding another class of ui dash btn dash inline how simple is that using the jquery mobile classes and by default you to get some fixed width as you can see now it's a nice looking button than covering the whole width because if the person is also to view this on the desktop it will still be covering the whole screen size width so you have to add this this class is very important on buttons so you just have to make them stay in that inline mode or display mode. Now the case for this tutorial is adding buttons on adding icons on our buttons. Now what you have to do you say UI dash icon dash since we are talking about shop, you shall say shop. And it's going to get some little icon on that button. But if you are to refresh this right now. And we preview it in the browser. Let's give it some time. There is nothing showing on the button. Why? Because we have to set the position where the button has to be. Now we have to say UI dash BTN. So the user interface. User interface. And we are tagging the button. And we say dash icon dash left. So we want it on the left hand side. This side. And I'm just going to show you all the positions where you can place your button. And as you can see, we have got this little icon of shopping. So shop, you can say back for what now. Let me show you some place where you can get this. Go to jQuery Mobile. This is the best place you can get them from. I don't know why, but this internet is very slow today. You will forgive me for that. Whoa, as you can see, having problems here right now. Ah, it's now okay. Now click here. You see where my cursor is. Click demo, demos, and we are going to scroll down. Uh, check this one where you see the last latest stable version. Click it. I'm apologizing for the slow internet. Now scroll down. You'll find these icons. Are you seeing this? Just click icons and select these icons. We will show you a list of icons you can use depending on what you want, what project you're working on. And there are also some third party icons you can purchase from some sites but i advise you to start to be using all the provided icons 
you can also create custom icons i will show you that in the next tutorials as we approach other tutorials so you can see we have very many icons we have audio back bars bullets calendars camera so check boxes clock comment delete i edit forbidden so there are very very many icons you can use so just follow just follow what i've shown you and you see all the stuff now let's go back to our edit so as you saw this one we created one for the show so i showed you one for the show now let's just copy this because i want the same styling and here we shall say video and the icon where you see ui dash icon dash shop i'm just going to replace it with video let's say now you are creating some video some site and you want people to click on that button and view some videos you can also do that so there are very very many icons now let's talk about positioning icons as you can see here before this cannot be displayed without this class because you have to specify where that icon has to be now as you can see we are having ui dash btn dash icon dash left so it's on the left hand side you can change this to right so we are changing the one for the video save that and refresh and just as you can see now it is now on the right hand side you can go on and play with the position there is top so these normal positions you always do top bottom right hand side left see now is at the top and also the height and width will change according to the position you give to the button we have bottom let's refresh and preview it in the browser and as you can see it's at the bottom so let me take it back to its normal area the position of that now <coughs> What we are going to be talking about next is the data themes. How can you apply different themes on the buttons? What you have to do is <coughs> let's create a button. Uh, now it's back in this right position. Let's create a button. Let's pull up. And we are going to say button button three. Let's refresh that. By default, you will see. <coughs> Sorry for that. As we said, we give it a class. Oh, give it a class of UI dash BTN, and it will be having this data theme of A by default. And it's also blocking with it, and it displays in block. Now, to add a theme, you have to add this data theme. Equals B, and inside here you just say UI dash BTN dash B, and it will be given this theme B. Refresh, and as you can see now, they have given our button the theme of black in color. So let's copy this. So the default one is A. So this one you're seeing is A and B. So those are the default colors we are having right now in this project. 
and as you can see now we're having two buttons here but the first one was given another theme so those are the different stylings we can apply to these buttons you can add icons shrink them as you can see now these are all the stylings we gave to the buttons here the first one button one button two buttons with icons as you can see there are very very many icons you can say user and change also this grammar to users so you can there are very very many icons you can play with so make sure you check out the different icons where i told you to go where i showed you to go as you can see now we're having users so guys if this tutorial was useful to you please go ahead and subscribe to the channel like the video share them on different social medias and i'll see you in the next tutorials peace